The following number is a base 10 number. Convert this number to base 60, and then write it in modern sexagesimal form. Place the appropriate numbers in the boxes below. We are given 120,760 base 10, and asked to write this in base 60. Just like in base 10, the place values are powers of 10. In base 60, the place values are powers of 60. Starting on the far right and working left, we have the 60 to the zero power or ones place value, 60 to the first or 60s place value, 60 to the second or 3600s place value, 60 to the third or the 216,000s place value, and so on. When converting a number in base 10 to a new base, the first step is to determine the highest power of the new base that will divide into the number at least once. Notice in this case, the highest power of 60 that will divide the given number at least once is 60 squared, or 3,600. We know this because 60 to the third, or 216,000, is greater than the given number in base 10. So now we know in base 60, the number will have one, two, three place values. It'll have a whole number in the 60 squared place value, which is the 3,600's place value, It'll have a whole number in the 60 to the first or 60's place value, as well as the 60 raised to the zero power place value, which is the one's place value. We begin by determining the whole number in the 60 squared or 3,600's place value by dividing 120,760 by 3,600. We begin by determining how many 3,600s are in 12,076, which is three. Three times 3,600 is 10,800. And now we subtract. Bring down the last digit of zero, and now determine how many 3,600s are in 12,760, which I believe is also three. We already know three times 3,600 is 10,800. If this difference is less than 3,600, this three is correct. So now we subtract. One thousand nine hundred sixty is less than 3,600, and therefore the quotient of 33 is correct, and this is a remainder. And 33 is the whole number in the 60 squared or 3,600's place value. To find the whole number in the 60's place value, we now divide the remainder by 60. So now we divide 1,960 by 60. There are three 60's in 196. Three times 60 is 180. Subtract, the difference is 16. Bring down the last digit of zero. And there are two 60s in 160. Two times 60 is 120. Subtract, the difference is 40. 40 is the remainder. 32 is the whole number in the 60s place value. And then finally we have the 60 to the zero ones place value. And we know there are 40 ones in 40, and therefore the whole number in the ones place value is 40. The number in base 60 is 33 comma 32 comma 40. Let's quickly check this on the calculator. Let's verify that 33 times 3,600 plus 32 times 60 plus 40 times one or just 40 does equal the base 10 number of 120,760, which it does verifying our answer is correct. I hope you found this helpful.